What well, do we YouTube have family, here? I am back, recovering from the, the Rony Rona, so I sound a little stuffy. What is that? Oh, the... So I had a lot of time to do some mm -hmm. research, and... What's your research, I want to Ms. talk White about Lady? the five biggest sexual fantasies that women have, but we what? rarely speak about. Well, let's because get it. Because a lot of times women are afraid of sharing their fantasies for a year of being mm -hmm. judged. Because y'all nasty. And a lot of men interpret this as know that. just don't know what they want. But nah, actually, we don't think that, that is We just think y'all don't like a lot of times we're often just embarrassed mm -hmm. or we feel shame for sharing our deepest darkest fantasies but that's why 50 yeah. shades of gray blew it out of the park with i don't even know what that is like you think i watched that reached into a real niggas don't watch that inner dark secrets and exposed it for all the world to see so after looking over a lot of articles and research weird. and asking Friends, these are the <clears> top <throat> fantasies you that your women want the most in the bedroom. Well, so obviously this list let me know, enlighten me, put me on some games. Into the most common ones. And maybe ahead, this will help open me. up the conversation what, with you and your spouse. Tied or up, just spanked, for you to know in the back of your head where name, most women stand in regards to uh, their preferences having two D's and in her. their fantasies. All right. Tell me. So the first Getting one that the train up ran on her over again was being dominated. Yeah, Nearly 65% of women fantasize about being dominated sexually, according to yeah. a survey of more than a thousand women that was published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine. BDSM is Sexual Medicine. alluring. It's a community because one partner relinquishes all sense of control, right? They're submissive to the person that is kind of touching them and controlling and them. That's what you're but supposed subconsciously, to do. they give themselves permission. So she feels like she doesn't really have to hold back. You'll see a lot mm. of powerhouse women talk about this as well, but a lot of times what is a powerhouse each woman? Other. It doesn't a actually bit, imply that you're weak bit? or that you know your partner is superior to you. Fantasies involving power plays may actually speak to the desire of relinquishing control because it's the opposite of what typically a woman has to be in today's society. It's going against societal oh norms. Oh my god! The normal roles that most that's women not play. normal. And that's why it's not supposed to be normal. It's called fantasy. It's not supposed okay, to be so normal. Okay, so the next one is having a threesome or bringing Duh. another woman into the. Nah, bedroom. it's usually a another nigga. Eighty-nine percent of four thousand Americans surveyed by social psychologist Justin Miller for his book. She said it backwards. Said that they admitted having a train ran on her. That's a not a threesome. That's a train. The fantasies of being kind of the center of attention and desired by large groups of people may be about the longing to be seen and so wait you mean to tell me that women want to be the center of attention <gasps> part of something much I never larger knew than that. the individual self this could be why around 57 percent of women actually fantasize about having sex with more than three people at a time Again, that's nasty this is according to the journal that's how you get diseases medicine. dog this is really more about laying back and being completely taken care of and or adored by other people mm, all right so number that's three gross. is public sexual encounters. okay yeah i forgot about that so that's fire i've done, done story. that a I think lot of times won't get too mad because I've told it other what? times. But why do you know this about your brother? You incestuous beast? And I was in the big master bedroom because I was paying the most. So he decided to copulate with his girlfriend at the time what is in copulate? my bed. And I found about it with my detective ways when I was out of He town. met it on your pillow. And That's not detective well, work. I of him and he proceeded to tell me that it was the thrill of getting caught that made it so hot. Of course, your brother is a man. My brother, so I forgave him. I'm not sure I ever forgave his ex-wife, but nonetheless, the thrill of getting caught yeah, can make yeah. sex seem that much hotter. Did you wipe your coochie on my face towel? fantasize about taking things even Bitch. further by having sex in a public place, according to the research that I found the beach, again, in the journal. The beach, the alley, medicine. there's a sense of on the stairs, liberation outside, and empowerment yeah, and I've done fantasizing it about having on an the audience roof. and the idea that you could excite that's not public a roof is not public get though. caught Gross. and then there's the whole other fantasy that could kick in about other people joining in or what would happen that would be bars if I mean, that happened they, they not a dude stories though about this stuff so remember fantasies stories? permit people to engage in imaginary scenarios without real world complications or consequences like jealousy hurt feelings offending others or even risking getting arrested all right, so the next mm. one is having sex with total strangers. 
This is Nearly getting nasty. Nasty fantasize about having How do, Wait a minute. That's what person. y'all already do. A lot of this research was taken most of the people that's medicine, produced, so they, their parents don't even know each other like that. that. The more impersonal nature of a that's stranger, a stranger. may also what is indicate that you're trying to Nasty. detach from yourself, from something that has No, you're trying to, to detach your from your health. You want to get that pack. You're trying to detach from your body for forever. Oftentimes, sex with a stranger is about what the person represents rather than who they Mystery, are. Mystery, yeah. So women might fantasize about having sex with the president, the most powerful man in the world. That just says something about her, that she's, you know, hot shit and can pull a powerful man. I know that men often sometimes fantasize about having sex with supermodels. As well, again, these are all things that we do that no, we got Instagram now. I don't need no supermodel. I just need from it. Another thing that I was reading about was that actually this kind of goes hand in hand with what? Um, with this concept, but 66% of women fantasize about having sex with acquaintances, like your friend's husband or a smoking hot neighbor. Fantasizing about someone you know. Your friend's husband. Typically, regularly no, you just a bad friend. In life, and it's about not. You want to smash the homie's husband? Who is this demon? Which are all harm hallmarks that lead to really intense desire. She said that with conviction. And lastly, she was thinking about that. And about mixing pain with pleasure. Again, all the Getting way back spanked, to the shades of gray. Smacked. 65% of women fantasize about receiving pain crib. in the form of spanking, biting, dripping hot wax. Once again, that like S&M culture. If you got a big really digging stick, control. all you got to do is it's put the whole thing in. You ain't got to worry about that. And pain brings you Facts. into the physical body and into the present moment. Also, it's like, you know, physiologically, pain wakes up the body, making it more sensitive. And then you to put the pleasure, pleasure on top of it. So and spanking, then the, yeah, biting, exactly. and dripping wax, it's all elements of foreplay. Dripping wax? No, nah, we're not about to waste these good candles. These came from Bed Bath like & Beyond, event. baby. Again, a lot of this is about, about to waste my $30 candles on you, nasty, with your so fantasies. I, just, I want to be really honest with you all because I feel as though nah, I am you good. Don't be no more honest than what you've already been. You already, I already don't like you like that. that really aren't you lucky you kind of fine. about this because there's a lot of shame or... Yes, you should feel ashamed. This is nasty. And, you know, I'm about to call my girlfriend right after this and curse her ass out for no reason. talk about these things without men, like, judging them. So yeah. I just really make sure y'all like this video, subscribe, comment what you women, want me to uh right? like we are do next to girls and to have this persona that if she's a classy lady, right? Yeah. She wants to have that mm -hmm. out, outer appearance of her being saintly with the sundress and you know, she's not showing Innocent, a lot of skin and that's very respectable. A regular and human being that hasn't been ran through. On we don't want you to be a saint. We just don't want you to be overly closes, nasty. That something that a woman wants and very few men can really bring it out. So I'm my disgusted. challenge to you is to help And none of what you out. just said if was do, challenging and I did all of this on accident. that woman is not going anywhere. Except for so the train. I did the train, but I didn't even like that girl. She was nasty and she had a yeast infection. Just all about being very open and talking through these things and not open. taking it open-minded or open booty fantasies when engaged appropriately can be a whole level of none of this is appropriate some of this is illegal never had before and i just think you need to be open and nah. of course the research is the research there's many other fantasies that women have but i wanted to provide the top ones but i think that there's there's a lot of room for conversation here so no nah, i don't want to have it, no conversations about partner, this with you talk about this without any shame unless we can be curious and i really do believe that women women can have it all we can be no you can modest we can be respectable we can even love jesus and god but we can also want to be a freak what in the so that's just my personal opinion that's not a freaky that's worth. nasty and i'll see you in the next one